In today's show, CNBC analyst Brian Kelly says a massive Bitcoin bull run is officially underway. That's right, in a new interview on Fast Money, which I'm going to be revealing the highlights right here in today's show. He goes on to share he thinks Bitcoin is on track to return to its all-time high of $20,000 within six months and with $50,000 coming next year. Gold or silver or Bitcoin. Well, I mean, for me, it's, it's going to be Bitcoin. You might say, well, BK, you're biased because you run a crypto fund, but that's not it. I also trade macro, which means I have a whole bunch of different things <laughs> that I can invest in, currency, stocks, bonds, precious metals. And when I look at precious metals versus Bitcoin, Bitcoin has a better fundamentals. And when fundamentals, I'm talking about the stock to flow ratio. It's better than gold at this point because we had the happening. And when I look at the Bitcoin cycles, they, the bull markets tend to cluster around the happenings. And so we're tracking right along like the 2016 uh, happening cycle. And that would imply that sometime in Q2 2021, you're looking at a Bitcoin price of 50,000. Also in today's episode, Ethereum skyrockets 50% in its five year anniversary month. That's right, just yesterday was actually Ethereum's five year birthday, but what's behind this epic Ethereum rally? We're gonna be discussing this and breaking it down right here for you in today's show. Also in today's episode, one DeFi asset poised for breakout with another foreshadowing Bitcoin's biggest rallies. According to crypto analysis firm, we'll be discussing this here in today's show. Also in today's episode, We'll be taking a look at the overall crypto market. We can see Ethereum is soaring up 8% for the day. Bitcoin up 2.4%, hovering just above that 11,200 support. Where's the Bitcoin price likely to go from here? Find out all this plus so much more in today's show. Here at Crypto News Alerts, I drop a brand new episode every single day. So be sure to smash that subscribe button and turn on all notifications to receive daily premium crypto news alerts. And before we kick off today's show, if interested in tapping into OPM and leveraging other people's money to grow your wealth and crypto portfolio, smash the link right below this video in the description and register for this free system entitled OPM Wealth. All right, welcome back to another episode of Crypto News Alerts. I'm your host, JV, and let's kick it off by diving into today's top story of the day. CNBC analyst says massive Bitcoin bull run officially underway. Let's break it down. CNBC's Brian Kelly says he believes Bitcoin is ready to once again surprise the naysayers and begin a blistering parabolic bull run. In an interview on Fast Money, Kelly points to Bitcoin's recent halving, which cut the rate of new supply entering the market in half. As a prime reason, Bitcoin is set to outperform gold. I repeat, Bitcoin set to outperform gold amid the shaky global economy. Well, I mean, for me, it's, it's going to be Bitcoin. You might say, well, BK, you're biased because you run a crypto fund, but that's not it. I also trade macro, which means I have a whole bunch of different things <laughs> that I can invest in, currency, stocks, bonds, precious metals. And when I look at precious metals versus Bitcoin, Bitcoin has a better fundamentals and when fundamentals I'm talking about the stock to flow ratio it's better than gold at this point because we had the happening and when I look at the Bitcoin cycles they the bull markets tend to cluster around the happenings and so we're tracking right along like the 2016 uh, happening cycle and that would imply that sometime in Q2 2021 you're looking at a Bitcoin price of 50,000 so that's kind of the long-term uh, target and then in the shorter term 10,500 was a really big number. We're breaking out of a two year range. It would not surprise me. Just this is just pure trading 101. Once you break out of a range, goes to prior highs, that's 20,000. To me, I think, you know, that's three to six months down the road. So Bitcoin looks like it go two to five times higher. Whereas gold, is gold going to go to 4,000? Is it going to go to 10,000? Can, can we back up for just a second? Are, go. You're saying 20,000 sure. in three to six months? and 50,000 yep. in 2021. And we've heard these sorts of yeah, think, sky high forecasts in the past, 50,000, you know, 100,000, whatever. It's like, and, and they never came to fruition. Why, why this time? I mean, well, people I'm are not, skeptical. I'm not sure that they haven't come to fruition. People may be skeptical, but let's remember in March, Bitcoin was $3,500. So it's already tripled, all right? So, and a lot of those projections were, okay, this is gonna be three, four years out. A lot of people at one and two thousand dollars in Bitcoin in 2017 didn't think it could go to twenty thousand. 
What we know about Bitcoin is that it's extremely volatile, it's highly speculative, and when it goes on these speculative runs, it goes a lot further than people expect. So, you know, I don't think saying 20,000 is that outrageous when it's already been there. Uh, you might question me on the 50,000, but that's a year from now. Kelly says he thinks Bitcoin is on track to return to its all-time high of $20,000 within six months. That means by about the end of this year, we can expect a $20,000 all-time high for the Bitcoin price. And he says with $50,000 coming next year, keeping in mind we're halfway through 2020. So what he's saying by next year in 2021, he expects a $50,000 Bitcoin valuation, which is virtually half of six digits, not too shabby. And if you do the math, all we really need to do from here is move up 500%, not too far-fetched, right? That's about a 5X gain. Now, considering we've seen Bitcoin go parabolic over 4,000% proceeding a Bitcoin halving, which happened back in 2016 to by the end of 2017, Bitcoin soared all the way up to $20,000. Now, personally, I feel this is a very conservative Bitcoin price prediction, but that's just my two Satoshis. Let me know where you feel the Bitcoin price will likely be by the end of next year. I agree with Stock the Flow. I'm feeling a $78,000 Bitcoin valuation, possibly even six Six digits and I'm sticking to it. So in the same time frame, he doubts gold will double in value. What we know about Bitcoin is it's extremely volatile. It's highly speculative. And when it goes on these speculative runs, it goes a lot further than people expect. So I don't think saying $20,000 is that outrageous when it's already been there. You might question me on the $50,000, but that's a year from now. And I also agree there's a lot of naysayers out there like Bitcoin is not getting anywhere close to $20,000. Well, keep in mind, it did that three years ago. Also keep in mind all the institutional demand. We got the Grayscale Bitcoin Trust purchasing more Bitcoin than it's being mined. We have the Cash App purchasing tremendous amounts of Bitcoin. We have investors like Paul Tudor Jones, considered one of the most influential of our lifetimes, investing 2% of his overall investment portfolio into Bitcoin, calling Bitcoin the fastest horse in the race. So this is a completely different time than then. I also feel we can FOMO and go from $20,000 to $50,000 just like that when we reach that price discovery mode. We've experienced it before. Will it happen again? Absolutely. The only question is when precisely will it happen? Let me know your thoughts in the comments right down below. And before we break down our next story of the day, Ethereum skyrockets 50% in its five-year anniversary month. What exactly is behind this rally? Before we break this down, let's first take a look at the overall crypto market. We can see a sea of green. I love to see this, especially as an herbalist. Now, Bitcoin is up 2% for the day, hovering just above that $11,200 support. I love to see Bitcoin test that 11,500 resistance. I feel if we can break that, we're going to head right on over to $12,000, and it could happen fast. Things are looking extremely bullish in the market right now. Ethereum has been soaring up about 8% for the day, trading at $343. Now, just about a week ago, Ethereum was at about $240, so Ethereum has been surging. I'm going to be breaking down why that is shortly right here in the show. Chainlink up 5.6%, trading at $7.65. Link recently also reached price discovery mode climbed to almost $9 from about a $5 high. And right now we consolidated back down to $7.66. Still very bullish on the missing link of the blockchain. We have XRP, which many analysts are predicting for it to catch up as it's been pretty dormant this year, to say the least, up 1.5% for the day, trading at 24 and a half cents. Miss Litecoin just recently started breaking out. It's up 4% for the day, trading at $57. We have VeChain up 11%, trading at one percent seven cents and EOS up about two and a half percent trading at three dollars and five cents and now checking out some of the top exchange volume Binance down 10 percent with 7.1 billion in volume for the day BitMEX up six percent with 2.1 billion in volume OKEX down four and a half percent with 1.8 billion and Hobby Global up 4.7 percent with 1.3 billion in volume in the past 24 hours all right now let's break down our next story of the day the price of Ethereum's Ether token has seen strong momentum in July. Since the start of the month, Ethereum has climbed by 50% 
from $225 to $340 on Coinbase. It coincides with the five-year anniversary for the dominant smart contracts blockchain protocol. There appears to be two key factors fueling this rally of Ethereum. First, the anticipation of the market towards Ethereum 2.0, which I've been covering very thoroughly right here in the show, which has been continuously building. And second, the explosive growth of the decentralized finance slash DeFi market, which has upheld the momentum of Ethereum. As we can see right here, the centralized finance has been booming. I've also been covering this very thoroughly right here on the show. Now let's discuss DeFi and its impact on the Ethereum blockchain. In mid-June, DeFi platform Compound essentially kickstarted the phenomenon called yield farming. Ethereum users would flock to DeFi platforms, providing the highest incentives, trying to obtain the highest yield possible. Since then, several major DeFi platforms have emerged. According to DeFi Pulse, Aave, Balancer, and Curve Finance have 482 million, 291 million, and 263 million locked in, respectively. Consequently, the total value locked in the DeFi space has increased to 3.94 billion. It's up by more than threefold since the beginning of June. That's right. Just recently, since last month, it's up three. Fold. That's how fast the DeFi market is growing right now. The upward trajectory of the DeFi market could positively affect Ethereum for obvious reasons. Various reasons, I'd say that again. The most prominent factor is its usage as gas. When users clog the Ethereum blockchain with many transactions, Ethereum is needed to pay transaction fees or gas. And I'll throw it out there. I was sending Ethereum the other day, and it costs a lot more than usual to send it. And the same thing with Bitcoin right now. I think that's because a lot of people are using it, driving up the price. Now, according to Etherscan, the amount of gas used per day has increased to new all-time highs at above 76 million. That would explain it. The data suggests the demand for Ethereum is increasing in tandem with the user activity of the Ethereum blockchain. As we can see here, Ethereum daily gas use chart at an all-time high. Now, some experts are skeptical about the sustainability of the DeFi market. Vitalik Buterin, co-creator of Ethereum, said on on-chain podcast on July 29th that yield farming is not sustainable. Interesting, especially coming from him, right? He goes on to share, and those guys are not going to just keep on printing coins for people to entice people to get into their ecosystems forever is a short-term thing. And once the enticements disappear, you can easily see the yield rates drop back down to 0%. Now let's discuss Ethereum 2.0, arguably one of the biggest launches in crypto history. And the biggest catalyst around Ethereum in the first half of 2020 was absolutely Ethereum 2.0. In simple terms, Ether 2.0 incentivizes users that participate in Ethereum as it switches to a proof-of-stake consensus algorithm. The proof-of-stake algorithm would eventually eliminate miners from Ethereum, primarily to optimize and fasten the network. The final test net of Ethereum 2.0, which is called Madala, is expected to launch in August. Afri Shodan, the fork coordinator of the Ethereum 2.0 project, said on GitHub, before such a mainnet can be launched, we need test nets that mimic mainnet conditions as good as possible. The Celsius test net was one of the many steps in that direction. The Witty test net was another. The Altona test net is yet another. The Madala test net aims to be the final one prior to the mainnet launch. Meanwhile, Ethereum futures are also gaining tractions amongst traders with total open interest climbing to new record highs in July after recovering since the March crash. As you can see right here in the graph, Ethereum futures aggregated open interest currently at all time high. As Ethereum 2.0 nears, the demand for Ether can continue to soar given that it rewards users for staking their coins. I agree, I feel Ethereum is just getting started in this bull market and we haven't seen nothing yet. The confluence of rapid growth growth in DeFi and the anticipation of Ethereum 2.0 is presenting an optimistic outlook for the Ethereum price and taking a look at the overall Ethereum graph from all time price, we've already seen Ethereum climb above $1,300. I believe we even breached $1,400 in a brief period back in January of 2018. So is it so far-fetched to believe that Ethereum could reach and return to all-time highs of above $1,000? I think this is very realistic and it's going to happen. The only question is, when exactly will it happen? All right, now before we break down our next story of the day, one DeFi asset poised for breakout with another foreshadowing Bitcoin's biggest rallies, according to crypto, 
analysis firm. Let's first take a look at the overall crypto market cap sitting at 330 billion with 77 billion in volume in the past 24 hours. Current Bitcoin dominance, which has been back on the rise, is 62.6% according to coin market cap. Now the realized market cap is going to be different and much higher because it takes into consideration not all of these stable coins, et cetera, here that we can see on coin market cap. But anyways, taking a look at the top gainers within the top 100, we have Bancor up 25% for the day, trading at $1.88. Aragon up 13%, trading at $2.31. VeChain up a whopping 11.7%, trading at 1.7 cents. Energy up 11%, trading at $2.37. Synthetix Network up 9%, trading at $3.74. And Flexicoin up 8.7%, trading at 0 0.004. Right below that, we have Ethereum up 8%, Divi up 7%, and Chainlink up. 6%. And now checking out the BitMEX margins. We can see the bulls are back in control, leading with 55 million in superiority in the last 24 hours, with longs leading 51.88% versus 48.12% shorts. Are you currently bullish or bearish on the king of all crypto? Let me know in the comments below. And now checking out one of my favorite indicators is the Crypto Greed and Fear Index. Shows we're currently rated a 75 in greed. Yesterday, a 76 in extreme greed last week of 53 which is neutral and last month of 42 in fear and if you're not familiar with the crypto greed and fear index extreme fear can be a sign that investors are too worried that can be a great buying opportunity and when investors are getting too greedy that means the market is due for correction and before we break down our final story of the day with this one DeFi asset poised for a breakout I first want to remind you to click the show more button right below this video in the description for a detailed analysis of what's going on in the market this goes for all 500 videos right here on my channel also have some very helpful resources for you to plug into including the blog to my podcast which could be found at crypto news yes.com not only is this updated every Every single day it also allows you to download the latest episode of the show in mp3 format also be sure to subscribe on YouTube by smashing that subscribe button right below this video or visiting the direct link crypto news alerts.net on fast approaching 10,000 subscribers and I greatly appreciate your continued support you can also follow us on all the major podcasting platforms from Apple's iTunes to Spotify Google Play and Stitcher radio you can also follow us on Twitter to receive daily crypto news alerts. My Twitter handle is crypto news yes. And for those of you active on Facebook, as I am, I do have a crypto Facebook group entitled Crypto Alchemy with over 17,000 strong from all over the world. To become a part of it, simply click this link, request to join. I'll be sure to plug you in. And for those of you active on Telegram, I do have a crypto Telegram chat. To join it, click this link. You'll automatically be added. And I'm looking forward to connecting with you personally on the inside. All right, now let's break down our final story of the day. The decentralized finance token comp comp looks like it's ready to break out according to crypto analytics firm sentiment comp and ethereum governance token for DeFi lending platform compound launched on june 15th within one week the tokens price skyrocketed more than 400 percent to a high of 381 dollars it has since come down to earth and is currently trading around 135 dollars however sentiment says several market metrics indicate it may bounce back taking a look at this tweet from crypto analytics firm sentiment comp appears to be in a big great position for potential turnaround according to the real-time metrics we're seeing on sandbase pro track the chart to see the bullish developments for number one daa number two network growth number three transaction volume and number four social volume the analytics firm also says traders can track a top altcoin to get a sense of when bitcoin is likely to make a big move sentiment says recent price action supports the long-held theory that litecoin gains are a harbinger of bitcoin bull runs they go on to share litecoin may not be on the crypto community's radar these days the way it was in 2017's bull run but the notion that it pumps foreshadows bitcoin's rallies have still serious legs after all it started to rally around 24 hours prior to bitcoin now that is a fact as we can see right here in this graph litecoin is up 26 percent in the past five days alone now sentiment notes that litecoin's current fundamentals are mixed with the asset social sentiment looking bullish while on-chain transactions 
transaction metrics are leaning bearish. Let me know if you're bullish or bearish on Litecoin, which is the silver to Bitcoin's digital gold in the comments right down below. Well, that's gonna conclude today's show. As always, I appreciate you tuning in and journeying along with me inside this incredible crypto matrix. If you gain value out of today's show, be sure to smash that subscribe button and turn on all notifications to receive daily premium crypto news alerts. And real quick before I go, if interested in tapping into OPM and leveraging other people's money to grow your wealth and crypto portfolio, smash the link right below this video in the description and register for this free system entitled OPM Wealth. You'll be glad you did. And I look forward to catching you on tomorrow's episode. Peace.